Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink Vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We have got a bottle of King Street Saison by the Block 3 Brewing Company. Yes, indeed. This is one of the beers I actually ordered from the LCBO's website because it's getting to the point where it's hard for me to find beers I haven't tried here in the LCBO's and beer stores and two grocery stores that even sell beer. I've had a few different kinds of beer. This is Saison. Apparently it's their flagship beer, which is really unusual to be honest like a saison for your flagship beer i don't even know what to say a little shot of the bottle cap that i keep forgetting to do i think i did it once maybe twice and i said i was going to keep doing it and i haven't been doing it let's crack her open can we do it fail let's see what we've got I'm assuming there's going to be some sediment type stuff on the bottom, although it, a little light coming through, I can't really tell. Let's see what we've got. Not sure if you watched yesterday's vlog, but I am using the same glass. I hate using the same glass two days in a row, but the glass that it said to use for this particular beer, it said tulip, and that's the closest I have to a tulip. I will leave the little last, last little bit, little last bit, little, 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 la, 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 and we'll do a swish after picture and drinks and stuff, and I'll be back. She's definitely a bit hazy, like the, the chill haze plus the actual haze of the beer, but not as cloudy as I would have thought it would be. I'm assuming maybe something will happen with that, but this being their flagship beer, this could be more of a, like an approachable kind of saison, maybe. Really good head retention on there, like super nice, white, fluffy head. Quite often, between me taking the picture and coming back, the head is gone. Because occasionally my phone decides, Oh, you want to take a picture? Oh, I'm just going to randomly reboot myself. Yeah, it's, I need a new phone. Not getting a whole lot of aroma off there. Definitely some of that, I'm pretty sure it's coriander. I believe that smell I'm getting is the coriander. Maybe a tiny bit of clovey banana-ness or something? Let's give her a shot. That's not bad. This is actually, it's funny, same glass and everything. The beer I had yesterday, the Innocent Gun Session IPA, I talked about how it's a very good kind of uh, transition into IPA style beer. This would be a fantastic transition into Saison type beer for someone who's never had a Saison or thinks they're all gross. This is surprisingly okay. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. You know what, for the first time, it's always been said, um, I think this one says it as well, but in a lot of Saison style beers, that there can be a bubblegum flavor. I'm actually getting a little bit of that flavor in here. Usually that doesn't come through for me, I don't get that. Proudly brewed in St. Jacob's. If you want to see where they are, it's there, there's a map to their place right there. And not surprisingly, they are located on King Street. When searching for this beer, actually, they have another one called Nightmare on King Street, which I think is actually really cool. Uh, I'm not even sure where St. Jacob's is, to be honest with you. Our flagship beer, a Belgian Saison with notes of citrus. Oh, sorry. Coriander, peppercorn, and bubblegum. Yes, really. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of that, surprisingly. In the bottle, hops. Styrian, Golding, and Magnum. Yeast is Belgian Saison, Malt, Pilsner, Munich, 2, and Wheat. 
And I would assume on top of that, it's water as well. Like, they're pretty much ingredients, and there's a straight up, that's got to be a bottle on date. That would have been uh, near the end of May, right? January, February, March, April, May, yes. So, not fresh, but, say, even, and it's actually a little bit low on the ABV. It's 4.6, so I'm not sure exactly what might have possibly changed, what could have changed, what may have changed in the flavor profile between then and now. But I'm not getting peppercorn. I don't think I've ever had a beer that I've gotten a peppercorn taste off of. I'm okay with that. Pepper is something that actually know that freaking what was it? The Witty Traveler. That Railway City beer that was just all of the unusual. That had peppercorn. I'm pretty sure and I actually got it that time and it made my mouth want to not be my mouth anymore. Block3brewing.com Right. Right. Right, right, right. I'm right. I'm correct. Look at me go. Check him out. Saint, where, you know what? I need to know this right now. I'm very, very curious as to where St. Jacob's is. St. Jacob's. Google Maps. Maps. It is located. Zoom out. Kitchener. I'm not even sure where... Okay, it's like it's the it's the Toronto area basically. Like if you went if you drove down to Toronto, and then you started driving west, you're basically gonna hit St. Jacobs. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Cause like the, where, I always thought that people said the Kitchener Waterloo area for some reason. Where the hell is Waterloo? There are so many towns in Southern Ontario. Like, here, I will let you see. Uh, there you might be in an area where it's quite common to be like that, but where I am, it's... No, you can drive for like 30, 40 minutes down the highway and not actually be in a... This here, it's like... The town ends and the new town starts. Town ends, new town... There, there's no... Un, untowned area it seems like I could be wrong I don't even know but what is happening here get the back get back in there yes merge sorry tabs in the browser are weird sometimes I don't know where Waterloo even is I don't even know why I care but I, I want to know where that is Waterloo Waterloo Lou, Lou. it's right there it is right there it's right beside Kitchener Waterloo area because they're right beside each other. Why it wasn't? It makes sense. Waterloo wasn't on the map. I'm yeah, rambling now. Going off on all the tangents. Been recording for ten and a half minutes. Not sure how much of that was cut out of blood. I don't think a lot. I'm gonna get down to like last drink kind of level with the swish and stuff like that and uh, I'll be back. And we have returned. Gonna do the swishy thing now. See if anything really happens that you see. We can all see together. A little bit more hazy, I think, but nothing. No chunkiness or anything coming through. I don't know. Seems all right. Randomly, while I was on my little break there, I went to the website down here, and they do a beer list, I guess like a daily beer list picture on the website. And they are all about the Belgian beers. This is on top. Something called Beauty and the Belgian. 
discs, sorry. Single Track Mind is a Belgian single. Constellation is a wine barrel aged rye saison. Fickle Mistress, dry hopped kettle sour. That's the only one that sounds kind of normal. The Loneliness is a red wine barrel aged imperial stout. I believe Marcel and I had that a while back together. It was a, it was a thing. And then Stratosphere is a red wine barrel age stays on. So there's a lot of red wine, a lot of Belgianness going on at the brewery. Two things I'm really not a huge fan of, to be honest. Let's uh, see if this flavor profile changed. It really didn't. Stupid freaking hot hairs. It's still... That's a hell of an approachable Saison. Like, really. Wow. Drink number last. Block three. Your King Street Saison rating. That's like a solid eight. Very, very, very impressive. It still overall isn't really a beer flavor that I've come around to myself but if you like a saison get on that one and that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos smash that subscribe button and if you got some to say put some comments in the box down below but thanks again and i'll be back with another daily vlog tomorrow a peace out vlog might be long so yeah.